When Hyundai first introduced North Americans to their Genesis sedan, the reaction was pretty much the same. Even the company admits that it seemed a little bit strange for them to be selling a premium rear-wheel drive pseudo-luxury sedan. But the idea of being able to buy a less expensive and still competitive premium product struck a chord with customers. Now fast forward to 2015 and the company is offering its second generation Genesis. It wears Hyundai's latest design language, offers all wheel drive and is aiming directly at German luxury. Engine and transmission options carry over from the previous generation. Of course, you probably remember that that means you have a choice between a 3.8 liter V6 or a 5 liter V8, both of which are mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. New for this year, the power figures are actually slightly reduced to 311 horsepower and 293 pound-feet of torque for the V6 or 420 horsepower and 383 pound-feet for the V8. As I said before, this car is now offered with all-wheel drive, although only for the V6 model in the U.S. market. Average fuel economy for those powertrains is estimated to be 22 miles per gallon with the rear-drive V6 or 19 with all-wheel drive. V8 models ought to return an average of 18. Finally, pricing kicks off at $38,950, including delivery, while the all-wheel drive version comes in at $41,450. The V8 model starts at 52450 This car wears Hyundai's new Fluidic 2.0 design language, which will follow next on the upcoming version of the Sonata. But let's look at some of the highlights here. Hyundai's been particularly generous with the base cars, leaving them looking almost identical to the loaded up 5 liter V8 model sitting here behind me. For example, the base car comes with 18 inch wheels, although you can upgrade to 19 inch wheels if you prefer. Other highlights include a 4.3 inch LCD display in the gauge cluster, 12-way power adjusted heated front seats, a leather wrapped interior, which by the way again is standard, keyless entry and an 8 inch display on the center stack. Now if you think that the exterior of the Genesis is improved then you're going to love how the cabin looks. First of all, Hyundai took special care to make sure that this car is right in line with other luxury products. For example, they're stepping up to available semi-aniline leather in the car that we're sitting in here. And I got to tell you, it's quite a bit softer, but really that's just the tip of the iceberg. With the Ultimate package, you also get this open pour wood. You get a larger touchscreen with high definition resolution. And one of the coolest features, actually, it offers a CO2 sensor so that if the air levels start to get a little stale while you have recirculation going on, it'll actually bring in fresh air and make sure that you're staying awake because you actually have the oxygen getting to your brain. Now, regardless of which trim you choose, you're going to get leather upholstered seats, but the car's biggest strength is perhaps its massive interior volume. In the rear seat, you've got tons of legroom, and of course, in the front, that's the case as well. You might be tempted to think that because the same V6 and V8 engines and the same transmission are in this car that were also present in the previous generation that this is really a carryover car, but it's really not. We're in the eight cylinder model right now and unfortunately the press program that we're on is a little bit short and we don't have time to get into the all wheel drive for a complete video. Instead, we're gonna book one of those and have it in for a full week with the Auto Guide office just a little bit later on in the summer. Now the V8 model is only available in rear wheel drive and it's obviously the most premium of the range. If you step up to that level, Hyundai gives you continuously controlled dampers and when you put the car into sport mode, that gives it a little bit of extra performance because it also stiffens up the suspension. In the six cylinder models, when you go into sport mode, you get stiffer steering, you get uh, remapped shifts from the transmission and you also get sharper throttle responses, of course, all of which are present in the eight cylinder model as well. Now, if you follow our news coverage, you might remember that Hyundai actually tuned this car on the Nürburgring of all places. And while it's kind of hard to picture something like this flying around the Nordschleife, it's still kind of interesting because they seem to be getting really serious about making it into a real German luxury performance vehicle. So does it stack up in that sense? Well, it's still pretty squishy, but 
to a certain extent, that makes an awful lot of sense because really if Hyundai stiffened this thing up too much, it probably wouldn't appeal to most of the luxury market. And really that's what this thing is designed to do. It's unbelievably quiet on the highway. I mean, really it's whisper quiet. On startup, the eight cylinder is not harsh and shifts through either the six or the eight are incredibly smooth. So really this is a vastly, vastly improved product from a driving perspective. So how did Hyundai do it? Well, to be honest, they actually had quite a bit of help because they paid Lotus Engineering to help come in and tune the car for that feeling. The brakes feel really good and coming to a quick stop gives you very linear slowdown, which is nice. And it brings me to my next point, safety features. Because Hyundai's adaptive cruise control system can actually bring this car to a complete stop. They also added another gap so you have four different length settings for the adaptive cruise system, giving you more options when you want to set it up on the highway to go from having more space or less space with the car ahead of you. Hyundai's been very open about their plans for the Genesis to compete directly with German luxury with this new car. So, do the Deutschland Big Three have something legitimate to worry about this time? Well, it's not quite there yet, but one thing is for sure. Hyundai is in a brand new and stronger than ever position to compete in the luxury sedan segment.